In this video, I'm going to create a C program that counts the number of punctuation marks in a string. So first we'll make a string. We'll say car s is equal to, and I'll say like apple, comma pear, comma orange, semicolon, and then maybe like something like this. So we've got then three periods here, a semicolon, and two commas. So it should be six punctuation marks total. And we'll make a function to count the punctuation marks. So we'll say here int count punk, and we'll say car star s. So it's going to accept the string as an argument, and it's going to return the total number of punctuation marks in the string. So I'll copy this here, and I'll paste it. And then what I'll do is I'll include string.h, and I'll include c type. So I'm going to use these two libraries to help me. String.h includes a function called strlen, string length, that finds the length of a string. And I'm going to use that to know where to stop when I'm looping with an index over each character in the string. And then the C type library includes a function which allows me to identify whether the current character is a punctuation character or not. So let's actually write the function now here. We'll say int len is equal to strlens. And we're basically getting the length of this string here. And it won't include the null terminator. So we're going to go up to, but not including this number here in terms of the indexes we're looking at. So we'll say here for int i is equal to zero, i is less than len, i plus plus. And that's going to be our loop that's going to go from zero in terms of the index right up until the last index of the string here. And then we're going to keep a count of all the characters that are punctuation marks. So we'll say here int count is equal to zero initially. And we're, here's where we're going to use that function in C type. So we're going to say here if is punct, and then we're going to say s at i increment the count. So what we're doing is we're checking each character in the string here and we're passing it to the is punct function. And this function is going to return true if it's a punctuation mark. So if it's a punctuation mark, then we're going to increase the count. So then we're going to return the count. And by the end, we should then have a count of all the punctuation marks in the string. So let's actually call this function now. We'll say here int total is equal to count punct and we'll pass it s. And then we'll do a printf of the total. So we'll say total percent d slash n, and we'll output the total number of punctuation marks here. All right, so that should be it. We'll do a compilation here and see if it works. So we run it, and we get a total punctuation mark count of six. And so we've created a function here that can count the total number of punctuation marks in a string in C. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.